God is at work. And that's something that you need to believe that God is at work. And because he is at work, we need to believe him, we need to seek him, and stay close to him. Welcome to Command Your Money. My name is Shavi Hamulengia. Uh, I am the author of the book, uh, You Have a Bright Future, Do Not Give Up, How to Remain Fearless, Focused and Fruitful, a book that will help you to be strong, to be successful. My aim is to see you strong and successful. The other book I've written, Men Are Crying, Women Are Weeping, How to Build a Happy and a Healthy Marriage. I want your relationship to succeed. When you succeed in your relationship, you'll have peace. And the third book, Secret for the Singles, How to Start a Relationship to Sustain It and Succeed. Do you want to succeed in your relationship? This is the best book for you. Also, I have another book, Secret of Success for Teen and Youth. My precious child, listen, learn, and live. A great book that will, is talking about the challenges that teens, teenagers, and youth are facing and how they can succeed both in life and at school. My aim is to see you strong, stable, and successful. Today, we'll be reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 14. Verse 15, Matthew 14, verse 14, let us read. Well, we'll start in the verse 15. Matthew 14, 15. As the evening approached, the disciple came to him and said, This is a remote place, and it's already getting late. Send the crowd away so they can go get the to the village and buy themselves some food. Jesus replied, they don't have to go. They don't need to go away. You give them something to eat. 17. We have here only five loaves of bread and two fish. He asked, they answered. 18. Bring them, bring them here to me, he said. Today we'll be talking about God of miracle. Indeed, one thing that you need to remember that God is at work, and because he's at work, you can wait upon him. Because God is at work, he will do something in your life. You don't have to doubt. You don't have to fear. Know that you are not alone. God is walking with you. As he's walking with you, he's working with you, and you'll experience his wonders. Because he's a God of miracle. In the story we have read, Jesus feeding the 5,000 people. Indeed, when Jesus saw them, he had compassion on them. He saw them, he had compassion on them, he was able to heal them. Indeed, one thing that we need to learn that Jesus cares. And that's something that you need to understand, that you are very important to God. You matter a lot. It does not matter what people have been telling you, but I can assure you, you are a very, very important person. Indeed, because you're a very important person, you have nothing to fear. God is thinking about you. God has a plan for you, and God will show you his power. So Jesus saw them and was able to heal them. And let me tell you that uh, because you matter, you need matter also to God. Jesus was able to heal them, the crowd. They were, was able to heal the sick. And, and also, he gave them food. And I want you to remember that whatever you are struggling with, you need to know that there is a God who is at work. God is able. God has seen your struggle. Jesus saw them that they were sick. And what he did, he first healed them. You need healing. And the true healing comes from God. And when Jesus heals you, you'll be free. And you need to come to him. And let me tell you, when you come to Jesus, he will receive you. Because you're very important. 
It does not matter what you have been doing. Jesus is calling you to come to him. And Jesus received these people. When he received them, he was able to attend to their need. And let me tell you that Jesus wants to attend to your need. What, what are you struggling with? These people came to him. And Jesus did not say, no, I don't, want, I don't have time for you. He has time for you. So pour your heart out. Talk to him. Tell Jesus how you feel. Tell Jesus what you are struggling with. Tell Jesus, I have come to you. And he will receive you. And we see here, Jesus saw them and was able to heal them. Jesus is concerned about, he's concerned about your physical, your spiritual, your emotional life. So whatever is your struggle, come, to, come with it to Jesus, who will be able to, to help you. Jesus will, will, will set you free, will see you through that situation. And we are talking about God of miracle, and God can use the little thing that you have to do great thing. You see, the disciple came to Jesus, and one thing they told Jesus, this is a remote place, this is a deserted place. And that word, this is not a right place. Send these people to the village to go look for food. And listen what Jesus said. They don't need to go away. You give them something. There is something that we want to learn. They, for the disciples, that place was deserted. But let me tell you, it does not matter where you are. You may be looking at your place and feel like, this is not the right place. But what you need is a favor of God. What you need is God. Where God is, there is hope. Where God is, something great will happen. For them, it was a deserted place. I don't know. Are you feeling you're in a wrong place? Call on Jesus. And when Jesus will intervene, something great will happen. Your life will not be the same again. So these people are telling Jesus, this is a deserted place, a remote place. In other words, if it's a remote place, what do we do? They come to Jesus. Jesus, tell these people to go. And let me tell you, sometimes when you come to Jesus, listen to him. Tell him your problem. Tell Jesus has the best option. For them, they wanted these people to go look for food in the village. But Jesus said they don't have to go. And remember, they said it was late and the place was remote. It was a deserted place. Let me tell you, it's not late. It's not late. Where God is, there is still hope. Sometimes you feel it's late. I don't see whether I will be able to make it. It's late. But let me tell you, it's not late. He's never late. The one we worship, the one we, we, we trust is not late. He's able to do great things. He's able to do marvelous things. It's not late. Jesus, it's not late for Jesus to bless you. Don't stop dreaming. Say, you know, I don't feel like I can. No. Don't say it's not too late. It's not too late for Jesus to intervene. It's not too late. In fact, when you feel like you, are, you, you have reached your end, that's why Jesus, where you'll see his power, his intervention. So, send them away. That's what the disciples say. What you need to ask Jesus, show me what to do. In Jeremiah 33 verse 3, he say, ask and I will show you great things that you need to know. What you need to, you need to humble before God and say, what do I do in this situation? But the disciples say, send them away. Sometimes when you don't know what to do, I can assure you, Jesus 
will show you what to do. Maybe you may have many options. You don't know what to do. But let me tell you, God of miracle will show you what to do. God of miracle will speak to you. God of miracle will supply your need. And that's something that you need to know. And they came and Jesus say, told them, they said, we only have, we have here only five loaves of bread and two fish. They are sad. And I love that. They said, we only have. Sometimes we look down on what we have. We only have. Let me tell you, what you have is not little. What you have is not small. What you need is God blessing. And where God is, God is a God of miracle. God who increases, who multiplies things. He's able to increase what you have and multiply it. What you need to do in knowing that indeed. And let me tell you, what you have is not little. With little, God will do a lot. Stop saying, I don't have anything. You have a lot. God has blessed you. You are highly favored. You're blessed. So because you're blessed, so be stressed. Because you're blessed, turn to him. Because you're blessed, don't look down on what you have and who you are. Never look down on yourself. The disciples say, we only have. And Jesus, you know what? Jesus said, bring them to me. And Jesus is telling you, bring what you have to me. When you bring what you have, tell Jesus, I all have this bless. And let me tell you, Jesus is able to make great things. You need to believe that he's going to make wonders with what you have. You don't have little. What you need, increase your faith. That with this one, whatever I have, I know with whatever I have, God is going to increase it. And start always with faith. Walk with faith. Knowing that what I have, with what I have, God is able to use it. God is able to use what you have. So, stop. Stop doubting. Don't doubt who you are and don't doubt what you have. Believe God who is able to lift you, to take you to great height. With him, there is hope. So God of miracle is a God who cares. God who supplies the need. God who makes the way. And let me tell you, it's not too late for him to intervene. God will open doors. Indeed, sometimes you may be feeling you are in a remote place, but you are not in a remote place. As long as where you are, God is there. He will do something. He will show you the way. He will come through. He will save you, and he will supply your need. And know that Jesus has the best option. And because Jesus has the best option, you can come with him. Tell him how you feel. And indeed, God is going to intervene. I want to pray for you. Know that there is God of miracle who is at work. And because he's at work, you don't have to worry. Because he's at work, you can wait upon him. Because he's at work, he will make a way for you. Because he's at work, don't worry. He will not disappoint you. In fact, he will honor you. Let's pray. Father, thank you. Because you are at work. We can wait upon you because we know that you never fail. And you will supply our needs. We praise you. We worship you. In Jesus name. Amen. My name is Shavi Hamulenkia. I'm the author of the book. Uh, uh, you have a bright future. You can get this book. Order them. You have a bright future. Do not give up. Uh, and uh, this is the book. Secret uh, for teen and youth. A book. A uh, great book that will help teenager and youth. And this book, if you are married, you need this book. It will help you to live in, in harmony. It will help you to build a happy and a healthy marriage. And Secret for the Single, great book. 
please get on my website, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Shavi Hamulenkia, and also get on my website. There is a program that I do that will help you. Uh, my program is called There is Hope for You to help you to discover who you are, to discover your potential, to discover your purpose. And when you discover your purpose, they will help you. May the Lord bless you. Remember, God of miracle is with you. My website, there is hope for you. Go on there and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remember, God is with you. You have nothing to fear.